Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will learn how to run your tests in Firefox browser. So as we have done the configuration for the Chrome browser, so if I have to launch any other browser, I have to do the same configuration. So when I, when I say same configuration, it's basically downloading the browser driver. So if I want to run my test case in Chrome, I downloaded Chrome driver.exe from the Chromium project. Now, if I want to use any other browser, I'll go to the download section here in the Selenium dev website and scroll down, go to the browsers, uh, yeah, the browser section. And now you can see I have to download the Gecko driver, which is implemented by Mozilla to run my test cases into Firefox. Similarly, I have, if, I, if you want to run your test case on IE version 11, you have to go to the configuration download the IE driver and run uh, and configure that particular exe or place that exe in your machine and configure that path into your script okay so let's understand how you can run the test in the firefox browser browser i'll go to the firefox documentation the gecko driver and we will download the gecko driver okay so let's go to the releases so this is the release that is available okay so i'll simply click on 0.29.00 and download the gecko driver so here if you scroll down you will see gecko driver windows 32 windows 64 bit so depending on so like in chrome we have we just had 32 bit that we had downloaded and it was okay for windows 64 bit or 32 bit now here with the Gecko driver, you have to download the specific one. So if your Windows version is 32 bit, you download 32 bit. If it is 64, then you download 64 bit. To find the Windows version, simply go to the PC. Uh, if you are using the older version of Windows, go to my computer, right click properties. And in the properties, you will see that the system type so basically 64 bit operating system so mine is 64 bit operating system if you want to navigate through control panel so you can go to control panel and try to come navigate to the system and in the system you'll find this detail whether it's 32 bit windows or 64 bit windows so since mine is 64 bit i'll download the gecko driver 64 bit zip it downloads pretty quickly it's a small file and i'll click on show in folder and we'll copy this gecko driver file into the browser drivers that we have created right so browser drivers were in the c drive so i'll unzip this driver exe into browser drivers so i'll paste it here so chrome driver.exe is also here now firefox driver dot uh, or gecko driver exe is also here so now i can remove this zip so the advantage of having all the browser drivers in the same folder is that you can maintain all of them at one location. So tomorrow, if I have to run my test case on Edge or I, I'll unzip those files into the same browser drivers folder. Okay. So now my browser driver or the Gecko driver is ready. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the script. Now here we used webdriver.chrome. Okay. So now we have to change because we want to run our test on the firefox so we'll say web driver dot firefox so capital f please make sure that and make sure that it's selenium web driver firefox dot web driver so capital f firefox and then within curly braces you simply specify the executable path where your exe is right so use ex executable path and then in the double quotes I'll simply specify so to backslash and we'll say browser drivers and then gecko driver right so GE should come up let me, let me check the name looks like So now I have specified the path so gecko driver.exe into my script and now instead of opening this 
script or running the script on Chrome, it should now run all the steps into Firefox. So let me run this. So the browser has launched. Now it has opened the website, still loading. So it has maximized the page, uh, got the title. If you can see the title has been printed on the console and closed the browser. Okay. So let me remove this close because it very quickly ran it and closed before we actually saw the website loaded. So I'll run it again. So you can see the website has loaded. And if we go to our script here, it has printed the title and it, the script has finished with exit code zero, which means the script has passed. All right. So that's how you will configure your test to run on Firefox. So only two steps are required. So first step is to basically download the Gecko driver, uh, the relevant Gecko driver based on the, the version of Windows, whether it's 32 bit or 64, 32 uh, bit or 64 bit. So you download it accordingly, put it in the browser uh, driver location, wherever you want to refer that location. And then in your script, you simply change that to the Firefox and provide the executable path. All right. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.